Hey there Capricorn, let's get straight on to the reading. What have we got for you this week? Okay, we've got the Nine of Pentacles, Two of Cups, and the Knight of Cups. Wow, if you are single Capricorn, it looks like your single days are over. Uh, we have a soulmate connection here, we have growing in love and happiness. Um, if you've had any kind of surgery or problem in the past with your health, this is where the health is growing and getting better again. Um, beautiful energy there. Not much really to say about all of that. Um, if you went into business and you, you left a business and you're starting a new business, it looks like a business partnership and you're going to be very good at it, very happy about what your choices are. Um, and as I said, if you were single or with you, if you've been wanting a relationship to step up the par, it does look like it's going in a really nice direction here. It's also congratulations to those of you getting engaged or married. Um, if you're currently in a long-term commitment, it does look like you may have felt that you were, you could be living with someone, but you may have felt like you're on your own. Uh, this is showing me that where it's coming back together again, there's starting to be some, you know, family reunions or going places with one another and, and growing this uh, journey again. So it's all systems go for um, Capricorn. Let's just get some more messages here. Now just think about a yes and no Capricorn and I'll give you a yes or no answer. We will factor in these cards as well for a yes and no answer. Uh, but this is just some more information about what's going on around Capricorn today or this week ahead. Okay, what do we got? Oh, I'll have to put another one because of that. <laughs> the cards are not playing nice. This is yes and no. Um, factoring in the other cards that were on the table, I'd, I'd give the answer to the question yes. Uh, there may be delays around this particular question that you're asking. Again, I do see some sort of commitment, possible marriage. Uh, there may be someone missing from the picture. Uh, some of you out there might have someone in spirit trying to connect with you at this time. Um, I'd have to say that they probably had a very major illness before they passed. It may have been something that was really big. It looked like it was going away, but unfortunately um, it didn't happen, you know, and they've gone. Um, male or female, probably more along a younger male energy showing up. But sometimes it can be a female with a very masculine sort of uh, temperament. Um, again, like it does look like a wedding or a business partnership. A lot of hard work there and not much money. Um, so I, I don't really think it's business. I think it's more to do with personal. I do see some sort of ups and downs. Uh, there may be something, some sort of discussion going on about a third party. Um, and how much involvement there is with this third party. Um, also, if you felt, like I said, that you felt like you're single, even though you're in a relationship, you felt like it's not being uh, give and take, um, it does look like if there's been a third party involved, that that third party is either moving on, going into a different direction, or you are. Um, this is quite positive energy, but I'm going to give a yes to the question because we've got yes, yes here. We've got a kind of a maybe here. We've got a yes, yes, yes here. Um, and then we've got these three no's and this maybe card. So it would be a yes to the question. Let's just do these as well. Just think again, yes or no Capricorn in case the yes and no card comes out. Okay, so the yes and no card comes out. All right someone watching you just a little bit too much now that could be someone spying on your social media you do have the card that says just say no um, i feel like part of your question might be a yes and a no or you're not too sure just yet or you actually know the answer anyway so let's just get you two messages to finish off capricorn for today what have we got we've got the cassette outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over and over in your head. So although I, I see that uh, if there's been some sort of tough time, some sort of letting go of something, some sort of ending, and then going into this nice romantic adventure, it does look like there's some sort of tough times ahead and you may be replaying the events of the past and sort of freaking out about them a little bit too much. Um, the Girl Talk card has come out. 
Uh, this is spending time with your friends, moving on, happy if you're single, um, living in the moment right now and trying to have some sort of fun. Um, so that's what we get for Capricorn. It's you. Uh, some of you, if you are single, it looks like you're about to go on some sort of romantic adventure here. It's something you've been thinking about doing. Uh, for others, if you're already involved in a partnership, a marriage, a long-term commitment, things like that, it does look like things are about to step up and balance out again for um, Aquarius. So let's just see what else we get here. Uh, the lovers could be the Gemini symbol as well. So you've got Gemini and Cancer here. So that might be something that you're dealing with at the moment. If you're wanting information about a career path and things like that, it does look like you're about to set sail into something brand new here. You've been thinking about it for a while. Um, it brings balance and harmony back into your life, this new adventure you've got over here, Aquarius. So let's just get some more information. Just think about a yes or no, Aquarius. So yes, Aquarius. Uh, again, this could be about a new job, a new adventure. We do have a young, flirty person and then an older, more mature person having a discussion here. Could be an argument. Um, if you're involved with somebody that's um, older than you or something like that, um, or you're the older party and they're the younger one, this does look like there's been conflict here, some sort of breakdown, some sort of I need to get away, some sort of movement here. It does look like you're making new choices and you're standing up for yourself and moving forward. Um, if you are moving into a new job, it does look like it might be a family position. It might be somebody that um, runs their business like it's family or welcome. Uh, for some of you, there might be issues around a child um, in this reading. It looks sort of like an injury. It's not sickness. Um, it looks like some sort of injury has happened, probably to a male child. Um, it does look like it starts off as a little bit of a drama and then it gets quite big and then you need some sort of support and loving care to sort this matter out. It does look like the person will be okay down the track. Uh, you may need information from what's going on overseas or whatever to sort this out. Uh, but for most of you, there may be this balance and then suddenly there's an argument and you're like, where the hell did that come from? Um, with this Ace of Swords energy, uh, you know where it came from. Um, now, if you're a female watching this, you could be involved with a young person and an older person. Um, it does look like you're having difficulties with the young person and there could be some sort of gossip or lies that you have been running with. It could be something that you're doing to yourself because it does look like it's behind your back if you are the young person. If you're the more mature person, you're trying to have everybody's best interests at heart. This is normally somebody married, uh, family unit, happy home, happy, happy love life. Um, so it could be that this is you, your energy, male or female, it doesn't matter, and you're trying to sort something out with a child or a younger person here. Just be prepared for the conflict. Uh, there is conflict there, but it does look like a, a solution will be found. Uh, let's just see what we get for the message cards for you. Think of yes or no again. A change of career. So like I said right at the start, it does look like in the past you were trying to do something, trying to get it happen. Yet you found some sort of balance along the way and you finally made your decision to move forward. This would be the money that will be coming in with the change of career. Um, and protect what's yours. Now again, that could be something to do with a child energy, could be husband and wife energy, making decisions around a child. Now we'll just get you two of these message cards as well. Stabbed in the back, um, Aquarius. Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, a shocking attack. Okay, I do feel this could be about someone that's been playing the field. Uh, it could be someone that's been out and about with other people, um, but there's some sort of betrayal and stuff coming out in your reading today here. It does look like you'll get support in that from somewhere else um, if this is going on here for you. And again, it, it could be a working a new job thing. You had that new career. It could be that you were stabbed in the back by somebody you work with as well, Aquarius. Um, or you could be doing that yourself. Um, you've got the Grim Reaper. The relationship is now over. There is no second chance 
chances. Grow and transform your life now. So I do feel that um, a two of spades sitting with a seven of spades is a forced change of direction in a relationship. Um, and you have this beautiful lover's energy here. The lover's energy could have actually created this problem. Um, if you were in a stable marriage or a partnership with somebody, it could be that there's been a third party involvement. And, um, and like I said, we've got water signs here. We've got uh, earth signs. We've got Gemini, which is an air sign. And then we've got water sign over here with the cancer as well. So it does look like there's too many players in this story, but there is a good outcome at the end here for Aquarius. Okay, so that's what we have for Aquarius today. Pisces, what do we get for you? Okay, Pisces, um, congratulations on pregnancy, congratulations on your marriage, your engagement, or your new business adventure. Um, I'm feeling a big female energy around um, Pisces at the moment. So this looks like family, the girls all getting together, the men all getting together. Um, it does look like you're preparing for some major celebration on the way. We just had the Ace of Spades drop out of the deck. Um, that can be that's something that's over because this new beginning is about to start. Um, it could also be a message from the other side, from this female, whoever she is. She may have died with something to do with her head or her heart. Um, so she's around and she's watching this nice stuff unfold, um, Pisces. Now just think of a yes and no, Pisces, for an answer here. You've got a definite yes there, definite yes there. This is a straight out yes here, Pisces. Um, we have an air sign and we have a fire sign having a discussion about money and moving forward. This would be new jobs. Uh, if any of you are pregnant right now, this could be the announcement. This could be the happy home. Yeah, it's going to be a baby boy, um, guys. It looks like a baby boy. And it also looks like it would be cesarean birth. Um, very, very happy event. Uh, we do have someone that may have been born in July that's in spirit trying to come through or January um, or they may have been born or died in those months. Um, but yeah, you've got male and female energy on the other side here, Pisces, trying to um, connect with you. Let's just get your messages, Pisces. Okay, we've got... Uh, transcending all obstacles, learning expansion, a new phase, preparing for the union. So, yeah, the union might be a marriage, it might be a new family member. Um, just be aware here, the self-indulgence card has come out. Um, it's telling you to actually focus on your self-worth. Um, time to start healing, shadow work and self-appreciation. So look after yourself and enjoy whatever this is and you deserve it, um, Pisces. Okay, you're being told to plan for your future. Just think of the yes and no in case yes or no card comes out. Um, and you will get what you need, Pisces. Very nice reading for Pisces today. Nice positive yes there. Um, if you're getting a new job, this looks really, really good. New expansion. Uh, some of you might be moving house as well, getting a new apartment, moving out of home. Um, but this is all about movement in the right direction for your health, well-being and your financial status. That's what we have for Pisces. Beautiful, beautiful reading. Okay. Taurus. Taurus, I'm not sure what you got last time, um, last week, but uh, did you go through some sort of tower moment? Did something sudden and unexpected happen? Was there an argument? Was there a sudden shock news come in? Um, it does look like you're starting to go back to the drawing board here and manifest your dreams. Uh, some of you are planning on travel or things like that. And it may be that there's been a roadblock in the past, but it looks like things are about to set sail here for Taurus. So just think about a yes and no um, question, Taurus, and let's see what we get for you. I hope that everybody watches their, not just their star sign, but their moon and their rising sign. If you don't know what they are, there's plenty of information on Google or any search engine um, where you just type in um, 
sun, moon and rising signs and you put your birth date in and you'll find out all the signs. So if this is your moon sign or your rising sign or your sun sign, I hope it makes sense. Um, so just think of the yes and no, um, Paulus. Let's see what we get. Um, we've got a straight out kind of no there, Taurus. It looks like it's something you're hoping for, but it's just not right now. For those of you that are worried and concerned about having babies or having a baby in the future and all of that, uh, I do see fertility and babies here, but then I see fertility issues and troubles. Uh, it could be due to what you eat, what you take. Um, it could be a medication. It could be a natural supplement. It could be diet and exercise, but there does look like there's some sort of issue around fertility coming out in this reading here. Um, but this is normally the birth of a baby boy or possible twins or one after the other, uh, both boys. Um, you do get the double threes, the double fives, so I feel like somebody in spirit is trying to connect with you. Now that might be what the tower is. You might have lost somebody recently. I'd have to say you probably lost them to some sort of accident or injury of some kind and then some sort of sickness played into it as well but it looks like the however this person passed it looks like it was some sort of um, it could even be a medical injury or some sort of um, car accident injury um, and then there was an, a sickness that popped up but it's not the sickness that did it it's this other thing that's sitting here um, okay so just think of a yes and no and we'll pull these cards as well for you elephant in the room stop ignoring it so i do feel that someone's being silent here you need to talk up um taurus you need to get your your point across if if you feel that something happened to somebody and you're being silenced now is the time to get all your information gather up information online and overseas and plan your discussion or whatever this is you need to talk about whatever it is um, expect there will be big changes on the way here Taurus and your last two message cards from the love deck abundance is on its way keep a positive mindset manifest exactly what it is you want now I did say right at the beginning you've got manifestation there Taurus uh, gratitude and bliss also we got making healthy choices so in love and in life um, self-love self-care and being happier so if there is any kind of medical choice um, you, you need I'm not a doctor but if you need tablets or medicine or a procedure uh, make sure you're getting all the correct information ask the questions and make the choice for your own own health your own well-being your own peace of mind um, but like I said if this is a medical thing make sure you're talking to your doctor or medical professional or if you see a naturopath whoever it is you believe in and what you do uh, make sure you're getting all the answers and please speak up with this elephant in the room it's like you want to say something but you're not doing anything about it Taurus uh, be prepared for arguments and that as well it does look like male energy possible child energy um, and going head to head with somebody else having an argument about it might actually be arguing about a child and some sort of choice that's coming up okay so Gemini let's have a look at you Okay, we have the ending of something. You've been hanging around waiting for change. It looks finally, Gemini, like it's about to set sail. If this is a health-related matter, it's like something's finally sorted itself out. You've got balance coming back in and you need to wait. And then finally, you've got a nice, healthy outcome. If this is a relationship, it looks like something part of it's over or a completely over relationship. Then you're hanging around waiting for that right moment and then finally it's here. Okay, so let's just think of a yes and no, Gemini. Okay, what have we got for Gemini? Just think of yes and no. We've got a straight out no there, especially on top of death. We've got another no with a yes sitting on top of a yes and no kind of energy. And then we've got a straight, no, this is no, um, Gemini, there is no, a big fat no to whatever this question was. We do have something about deception here with the double fours. It can be where someone's been going behind your back, saying something to the wrong person, trying to sort something out. There may be a money issue here. It may have, I'm getting a feeling used 
um, a used sensation around a money situation. Somebody may have borrowed money or lent money or said that they spent money on something and it does look like there's some sort of deception or lies going on in Gemini here. Um, if this is a medical thing, it does look like it's around a female um, and it does look like hospital was involved, something quite serious. Um, and then this is trying to make the right choices for the future. But I do see roadblocks ahead for Gemini here. Um, it doesn't look like sickness, it looks like injury. Um, I'm getting that a lot in the cards lately, like injury. So it could be injury from an actual incident, um, could be where you cut yourself, it could be where you fell over, it could be a car accident. I'm not seeing car accident though, and I'm not seeing anything to do with work. It could even be a medical injury. Um, but yeah, there's something here. Uh, also be prepared, um, Gemini, for some sort of unfortunately some sort of big shit fight it happened in the past it looks like it's going to happen again there are some forced changes either you or somebody else needs to do just again thinking about a yes and no uh, feeling a bit off balance and cutting off what doesn't serve a purpose in your life anymore here gemini and your last two love cards are hammer sabotage then rebuild interrogation repetitiveness persistence and working on it um, so that could be a job it could be a relationship uh, then we get the butterfly relationship evolving to the next phase healing that inner child so you might be cutting off somebody this does look like a separation between two people uh, it may be one male and two females and that's why we got the two female cards over here um, I feel like you're going to assess the situation and one thing that makes you feel good and one thing that doesn't. Um, so anyway, that's what we've got for Gemini. Okay, Cancer, let's get to it. What have we got for you? Cancer, you need to trust in your gut. You need to know that when you think something's going on or something's about to happen or something that you someone talks to you and you're not too sure, your gut's telling you something here. So you need to have more faith in what it is you feel. Um, it does look like because it's sitting in your past or problem area that you may have sort of lost a, lost the plot a little bit and, and not trusted yourself. Um, here you're wanting something better. Uh, this can be where you're in sadness or depression or just wanting something better in your life. You know it's there, you're waiting, waiting, waiting for it to be there. Uh, this could be a new friendship um, blossoming here. It could be a new relationship, a new friendship. I do feel all female energy here. So I, I think that this could be you as well. If you've had any kind of illness or sickness or worries and stuff, this could be you taking your power back. Also, I think a lot of the cancer people out there, you might actually um, be attracting a lot of attention at this time. Now, it looks like good attention, so let's just do a yes or no and get some more information for cancer. So just think about a yes or no question you might have, um, cancer. Okay, that's a big fat no coming out. Um, that's a big fat no, no, <laughs> yes. Uh, ooh. We got yes and no, no. Okay, so if you asked, uh, will I be going to Hawaii? The answer for now is no, but then eventually yes, yes. Um, if you ask, will this person keep doing whatever? Uh, the answer right now is no, eventually they won't, but right now, yes, they're going to keep doing whatever that is. Um, now, reading these cards that I've pulled, take away this six because we don't need that there. That was just to clarify a yes or a no. Um, it does look like in the past you may have had jealousy, arguments, suspicion, silent treatment. It does look like balance is finally coming back here. You do have something to do with work here as well. There may be some issue going on at work or around this particular character here. Uh, he could be a Taurus, a Virgo or a Capricorn. Um, he's usually stable, marriage balanced, and it does look like that's where you're going. It does look like you may have had some problems with him. 
um, or this could be your energy as well. It does look, whatever this is going on, Cancer, it does look like things are turning around. Also, if there's been stress around money and finance and it's like doing a lot of work and nothing happening, it does look like going from $200 to $500. It's like something's increasing here. Uh, there might be someone helping you or signing contracts coming up here, Cancer. So let's just get a yes and no. Oh, and if anybody's interested in pregnancy and babies and everything, underneath here we've got the Four of Cups, which to me is Four of Hearts, which is baby girl. But on the top we've got a baby boy, baby boy. So congratulations, whatever it is, I'm thinking that you're wanting a girl, but it's, it's a boy um, with what I'm seeing here. But it could be the second child or it could be twins as well. And you do have someone in spirit energy. I do feel that they had male or female, because um, this would be a doctor or something. I do feel that they had some major, major illness before they passed. There may have been some car accident people as well that are thrown in the mix here and that weren't sick at all. Because um, I'm seeing like a sudden death of a person. I'm also seeing a major, major sickness around this person. It is a lot of male energy, but it could be female as well because um, you've got the Queen of Wands here as well so there's it could be a Queen of Wands, it could be a child, it could be a male um, okay and your answer is yes I forgot to tell you to ask another question uh, time to rest before you get busy okay um, I mean it does look like the busyness is going to pay off uh, it won't be a lot of money but it will increase it will at least more than double uh, to what it is. So if you're only getting $50 a week, it'll be 100 or 120 um, If you're getting 200 it'll probably be $500. Um, you've got the mirror coming out, mirroring somebody else. So it can be your self-image as well. Uh, relationships reflect, reflecting the wounds. It can be where you're reflecting somebody else. So if you are all happy, they'll be happy. If you're all depressed and sad, they'll be depressed and sad. If you're going more silent and angry, so will they. So just be careful of doing this mirroring, especially with five and five here. This can be lies and this can be truth. Um, if you've been worried about somebody telling lies and keeping secrets, it looks like the truth's all about to come out and it's a good truth that makes you happy. Um, you've got the keys on the ring. This is many options, making decisions, unconditional, string something along, or one night stand. Now, I don't really feel that energy in here. I'm not even seeing anything to do with sexual energy or anything like that. Um, so the one night stand might be nothing. Um, but yeah, so you've got options there. You need to see what the options are and not to settle for second best or something like that. Anyway, that's what we have for Cancer. Leo. Okay, Leo, you're ready to make a new start. This could be a new relationship, it could be a new job, it could be moving interstate, moving overseas. It looks like you're going through all the legal processes right now. Uh, you're talking to people that know the facts, know what they, they want to do. Um, be prepared, there may be money issues with this move. If it's a new job, you may be taking a drop in pay. If it's a new house or car, there might not be enough money at this stage because this can be a financial issue i'm not really feeling anything to do with relationships in this reading um, today leo it looks more like a business type thing um, if we were to look at it as relationships it's like you're wanting to make a new start or you already did you've got a truth teller sitting right here it could be a new person coming into your life um, but you're not getting enough from this person or you're not giving enough from yourself uh, so let's just do yes and no, Leo. Just think about yes or no question you might have in your mind. Wow, Leo. I just said it had nothing to do with relationships, the first three cards. This is a yes, by the way. Um, make sure this is something you want, this question you're asking. We've got double fives here. This could be a new job, new car. Um, now, in these cards, five of diamonds is a totally different energy to five of pentacles. Uh, five of diamonds is signing contracts, buying a car, getting a new job. Very, very happy. New responsibility ability sitting here, um, Leo. Um, there could be a love connection, somebody that wants to do long-term commitment or you might be involved in a long-term commitment and there's some other sort of massive love bomb thing going on here. Um, I don't like these two energies here. They are sitting in your future energies here. 
It could be like something that's coming to an end. Um, so you've got a beginning, you've got something coming to an end, you've got some sort of squabbling and stuff going on here as well. Anyway, that's what we've got. So just think of a yes and no. We'll just give these a re reshuffle because the yes came out in the last section um, and I had to put it back. So just think of another yes and no question in case yes and no comes out, Leo. Maybe, we've got a maybe here and sorting out the finances first. So if your question was about leaving a job, retiring, getting a new job, it's telling you maybe, like maybe you should do that, but you need to sort out finances first. And last two message cards are a breakup, a separation. Like I said, this looks like a breakup. This looks like something better. Um, stopping your pattern, um, silent treatment or feeling abandonment. Um, over here, this would be the feeling abandonment kind of energy, but you may be getting silent treatment. You've also got the coffin coming out. Um, endings that will bring a new beginning. Like I said, you've got a new beginning and you've got endings here. Um, Leo, growth, change and liberation and transition going on. Okay, so that's what we have for Leo. Virgo, what have we got this week for you? Something's come to a major end here. Can be hospital, can be government. Uh, something official, or it can just be where you feel totally defeated. Um, it looks like it's recently gone on. It, sometimes it can be like the Ten of Spades energy, which can represent depression, sleepless nights, anger, frustration, um, just feeling like something's hopeless. Um, anyway, then we've got this Two of Pentacles. So there may be a money situation where you're really assessing the money. You're wanting to change. You might be wanting to buy a new house. You might be seeking different jobs, like what can I do? I'd like to leave. I'd like to go and work over here or I'd like to get that job. Uh, so you're weighing up your options. You're weighing up the money and the finance. Uh, over here, the Queen of Pentacles energy. Um, well, that is Leo Virgo Taurus. Um, so, oh, sorry, not Leo, that is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So you're showing up in your own reading here, uh, Virgo. It is a female, so if you're a male watching this, uh, you may be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy at this time. Um, I do feel that this is also um, somebody that is long-term commitment person in your life. Uh, so there may have been some sort of issue, and then we've got a balance of where you're trying to work things out, and then this is a, a, a commitment in the future. So just think of a yes and no, um, Virgo. Uh, the other thing I'm seeing here is that after some sort of loneliness or depression or whatever, uh, there's some sort of relationship starting here because this would be two of diamonds in the normal um, poker cards. And two of diamonds is usually like a solid relationship between two people. Can be a new business partnership as well that I'm seeing here, Virgo. Okay, so just think of yes and no, Virgo. We've got yes and no, yes and no, yes. This is more of a yes than a no, Virgo. I feel like more conversations need to go on over a money situation, a working situation. I feel like you're investigating, seeing what your options are. You've got a black two, which is usually a separation between two people or a business. Um, it's sitting right on top of another two. So there may be somebody in spirit around you at this time. Um, not sure who they are. We do have a medical kind of symbol there and some sort of medical medication or something like that sitting over here. Um, it could even be diet, exercise, things like that. Um, for some of you, we have a new baby boy in the picture. I feel a little baby girl already exists, so there could be the second child coming into the picture. That might be why you're balancing things up, because this long-term commitment card that's here, there is a lot of love between you and whoever this is. If it's not the star sign Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, it could be the energies of somebody that displays that kind of um, star sign energy. But to me, the Queen of Pentacles would be someone with blue eyes, green eyes, fair hair, fair skin. Um, there's a love connection here. There is a need to say sorry to somebody at this time, Virgo, or someone's apologizing to you. And it does bring a lot of happiness here. Do you notice something, Virgo, you've got a black tan turning into a red tan 
and you've also got a red two and a black two here um, so you do have this um, opposites kind of thing going on it can be truth and lies as well but I do like that the Ten of Spades is sitting in your past or your problem area and then you've got all this happiness and contentment over here. You might be going somewhere with somebody as well. Um, some of you, I think, are deciding about a job, about leaving a job, leaving a situation, whatever that is, it looks like you're doing it um, for a personal reason. Uh, this is all personal stuff I'm seeing over here. It's family, it's connections, it's love, um, it's the kids. So you might need to move because the kids need a different school or you might need to move because uh, your wife or your husband uh, need to go to a particular hospital and it's too far away. Um, but I do feel you're making a love decision with movement um, here, Virgo. Uh, now just thinking of yes and no, in case yes and no comes out in the message cards, your messages are be patient with that person or that situation right now, Virgo. It will turn a pass here um, maybe there will be some sort of reunion um, this five of hearts can represent a reunion it can be a family get together it can be something to do with people you used to live with people you used to be with it in some circumstances it could be uh, a couple that split up and they might have some sort of get together um, it does look like a celebration or something going on over here um, so anyway, let's just get your last messages, Virgo. We've got date night. So for those single people out there, this may be your past where you just thought you're going to go nowhere. You're weighing up your options, different people that you want. Um, meeting someone new, um, Virgo. Dating, um, getting back out there, planning and setting this date. Um, now, like I said, you've got a reunion there, so it might just be getting an invitation to something um, coming up. And then we've got the engagement ring. So we've got engagement, partnership, um, commitment, eternity, completion, union. So if you're not in a relationship, it does look like you might be about to go into one. It might be someone from your past that's coming back through. Um, if you are in a relationship and it's had some sort of troubles, it does look very, very nice here where you're maybe, if you've had troubles and arguments, maybe you need to start going on dates with your partner and getting back to the basics. Anyway, Virgo, that's what we've got for you. It's looking pretty good. Libra. Let's have a look. Whoa. Okay, Libra, your rest period is over. Your healing is done. You're about to set sail and be very, very happy. Now, if this is a relationship and it's had some arguments or some tension or maybe some sort of separation going on, this is a coming together and feeling very, very loved and happy and fun. It can be celebrations and going out. If this is about a job, this can be where you had no job, you're sitting at home wondering and waiting. Finally, your ship has sailed and, and something's come in. And over here, you're actually starting to make choices about what you're going to be doing within a new job. Well, you might be choosing between jobs, but there's definitely a decision coming up that's going to make you very, very happy here. So let's just do a yes and no for Libra. So just think about a question you might have in your mind, and I'll give you a yes or no answer. We will incorporate these cards if these cards are not going to play nice and do a yes and a no in one answer. So And plus, we'll get some more information for you, Libra. Okay, we have, okay, that's not playing nice, so we need another one. <laughs> like I said, it's given me a yes and a no. This is actually a surprise. Um, so we've got one, two, three cards sitting over here that are a no. And we've got one, two, three, four, five cards that are telling me yes. And then we've got one more that can be a no. I'm saying can be a no. Uh, if you asked about work, am I going to get work? Am I going to do something? You do have three threes here. So I feel for some of you, you're going to be cutting out the old and making new acquaintances through work or through family. Um, I feel also this can be where you're doing a lot of work but not getting a lot of pay here. This can also be where you've made a decision and you're going to be studying a lot and researching a lot. So be prepared. There's a lot of work on the horizon. But I'm going to give this a... I'm going to give it a yes. But if you're asking, uh, will I do well at, at my in my test? Or will I do well at school? Or will I do well 
um, in my medical condition? Um, the answer is yes, but there's some things that need to be sorted out here. Now, um, Libra, you do have somebody in spirit, male or female, I'm not too sure. They're sending a lot of love here. I do have female, female energy on the table and then one male energy, which can be male or female. Um, it's a friend or a relative. Um, I'd have to say that they had some sort of illness that got really, really out of control. There may also be somebody that had some sort of medical or food kind of thing go on. It made them a little bit sick and then at night it got out of control and they're gone. Um, something to do with March, the 3rd, the 6th or the 9th because we've got three threes here. Now on a totally different note, um, you've got this marriage, love, stability kind of card, but then you've got three cards that can re represent third party. So I think that for some Libras out there, you're exploring your options and you're trying to choose which one's going to give you all the happiness. So let's just do another yes and no in case it comes out over here, Libra. A career success is near. So like I said, am I going to be successful in this? Am I going to be successful in that? Um, it is a yes, you've got career success. It's just delayed at the moment. And also we've got love in focus. So like I said, the two cards are coming out with the two different sections that I said. If you're trying to find love, it looks like you're looking at your options at the moment. It looks like you've got more than two. Um, so love will be coming into focus for you. Let's just do two more cards for your reading to finish off. Uh, you might be looking at the past, reminiscing, missing people, going over the, the memories, but you're being told to make some new memories now with new people, um, Libra. And like I said, if you've gone from one job to another or you didn't, this is your first job and you're coming from school to a work, work situation, it's going to be time, it's going to be sad and you're going to be reminiscing over what it used to be. But the time is now to open up that key, um, get that key and open up the door. And talking about the key, we have the heart with the key. Welcoming love, meeting the one. Um, open up your heart, Libra. Getting together, this is the perfect time, is now. So I do feel like you might have already met somebody. You may have been sitting around at home and couldn't go out, wasn't well, whatever. Um, and boom, <laughs> something's come into the picture. It's made you very happy here. Libra. Okay, Scorpio. What have we got for you guys? Scorpio, we've got stress and severe anxiety and sleepless nights and I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do. Can be anger, frustration, violence, all of this stuff sitting in your problem in your past area. I do feel a lot of Scorpios out there are like, where am I going to get the money from? How am I going to get the money? What am I going to do? Um, you're looking at the past too much here, um, Scorpio. You need to focus on what you can do, not what you can't. You need to focus on what's forward, not what's in the past. Um, you will be getting presented with options. It could be a health option. It could be a, um, a, a job offer. Um, but you're looking at all the options. You might be looking at romantic options as well, Scorpio. It does look like in the past you've had a, a pretty shitty time here, um, some sort of stress in that. Uh, the other thing I'm getting is a possible injury that is costing you money. Um, so yeah, there could be some sort of injury thing. It's costing you money. You need to start exploring the options here, um, Scorpio. So just thinking of a yes and no, Scorpio. Let's see what we get. What else do we get for Scorpio? Okay, Scorpio, let's see what we get for you. Okay, we need another one there. Oh, we need another one there. Congratulations on to some of you that are having babies. It looks like there's a baby girl on the way. Um, it does look like it's been a pretty trying time too with um, pregnancy. I forgot to say that this can be a very uh, painful pregnancy, long term, you know, like things just not going the way you planned. It also can be where someone's worried about are they going to have a baby in the future? Or do they even want one? Um, but yeah, you've got uh, fours there, fours there, fours there. Somebody in spirit's trying to get through Scorpio. Uh, it's a parenting figure. We've got the parental figure. It can be a child. Um, but yeah, there's someone in spirit trying to get through to you to tell you uh, what you need to do or open up your eyes or something like that, um, Scorpio. 
Um, unfortunately, if you wanted a yes, this is telling me no. We do have a yes here and a yes here. Double joker would actually be a yes. Um, so if I take away the extra cards I placed on top of the jokers, um, we've got yes here. Um, and then we got four no's. So we've got kind of like one, two, three, four, five. We've got five yes and four no's. Now, whenever I get it like that, to me, it's telling you that if you're wanting something, um, eventually with some hard work, you've got a lot of sevens coming out, like you've got sevens here. So somebody in spirit, something to do with April or the 4th or the 8th or the, the 12th, um, and other numbers are the 7th and the 14th, the 6th and the 12th is coming out again. Um, we do have a female energy, it doesn't have to be, it could be a business energy, something like that's coming through this reading. Um, but yeah, if you were really, really hoping for a yes, it will be eventually a yes. It does look like there's squabbles going on within family, probably between two females. I've just noticed that you've got the two four sitting side by side, which is truth and lies. Um, it's also the energy of something hidden in the background, um, Scorpio. So just thinking of yes and no again in case it comes out. It's time to step out of that comfort zone, Scorpio. And don't be pushed. Don't let people push you around. You need to stand your ground. I feel like in the past you may have been pushed around by people trying to get you to do things you don't want to do. Stand your ground and have your say. Um, and your last two message cards are Scorpio, a karmic relation. Uh, fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving yourself. Um, so I feel like this is a negative karma sort of situation where you feel like everything's going wrong. Why me? Why is this happening to me? Why did this happen to this person? Um, and there's someone triggering you. You know, they're, they're liking, enjoying it. Um, what else have we got for Scorpio? We've got passion and desire. Insane chemistry is around. You like each other equally. Have some fun with it, Scorpio. It doesn't have to be a serious long term, but if there's somebody that you really match with and you want to explore some options, um, now is the time. Anyway, that's Scorpio. Okay, last but not least, Sagittarius. Let's have a look at you guys. Ooh, Sagittarius. Cheating, lying, stealing, betrayal, anger, arguments, um... Who did this? Why? What's going on? Uh, I do feel major, major stress. It's created some sort of... I see someone sitting around crying, crying, crying. Why? Why did this happen? This, this is a lie. Like, what's going on here, um, Sagittarius? Then I see this opportunity. Uh, there, if this was, let's say, a health or medical kind of thing, it does look like an emotional thing, but it could be an injury as well. Um, the answers you're looking for might lay in conversations online or with people overseas. If this is a romantic type thing, it does look like you've been hurt in the past, been used, or, or you may have been doing this yourself, um, Sagittarius. Then we have this five, which is five of hearts, which is a reunion coming back together. Um, it's also baby boy energy sitting right here in the middle. Um, and then we got this need to branch out and travel. If this is about work, just be careful that you're following the rules here. This can be about something illegal, um, someone telling lies about a situation. Um, this would be bringing the balance back in and finding out the truth. It's also where you might need to apologize or somebody else might need to apologize or return something. So let's say something was taken, maybe somebody's going to return it. Um, and then we've got this new adventure coming up. So just think of a yes and no, Sagittarius. Let's see what we get to finish this reading off. Um, we'll get you yes and no cards from over here as well. What have we got here? Start making your plans, Sagittarius. And the answer is yes. So we've got a yes coming out for you. You were the only star sign today that got a straight out yes off the top of the deck. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you've got a yes. So whatever your question may have been, uh, you've got a yes there. Now let's just, again, you might have a different question. Um, Sagittarius, yes or no? No. Wow, this is a definite no way. So you had a yes come out over there for the first question. Now 
if this is about business or sickness or something like that, this is no. This is like back off. You've got double energy about something to do with overseas information. I feel like there's something hidden here with this upside down ace, something you weren't aware of. There's forced changes going on around your business, around your health. I feel there's been lies. Um, this could be higher level kind of stuff that I'm looking at here. Uh, you need to do your investigations. You need to ask questions. I see you here having a conversation with someone, um, Sagittarius, trying to get the answers that you seek. You need to keep pushing till you get the correct answers. Now, this could all be negative in the past, and this could be something in the future that's finally balancing everything back out. Uh, it can be wedding invitations. It can be business invitations. It does look like you're going through something pretty trying over here first. Um, and there is a lot of gossip and jealousy, um, but also sometimes the gossip, you might need to be listening to it. If you're dealing with children at this time or there's something going on around the child, um, you might need to investigate further and have a look at what's going on in different parts of the world with certain decisions you might be making at this time with work, with health, um, with money. Um, I wasn't really seeing money in there. I was seeing more to do with health, jealousy, restriction, um, and lies and deceit that's happened in the past. But it does look like you will turn things around in the future. The, King of, the, the Knight of Wands and the Jack of Clubs are very healthy energy. Um, what was the other card you had sitting with it? Uh, I shouldn't have put them away. Uh, the Queen of Hearts, that can be a nurturing, mothering kind of energy. That's why I was picking up on the thing to do with children. Um, and your last two cards to finish off the reading for today. Heartbreak, deeply hurt, saddened, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning. Um, <laughs> Not nice, um, Sagittarius. And then we've got the sword and the rose. Uh, clarity and truth. A revelation is here. Suddenly knowing. Fierce honor. Protection and power. So take it how you will, how it resonates. Now, it's not going to resonate with everybody. These are general readings. But good luck, Sagittarius. It looks like things will eventually turn around with whatever it is you're going through. And that's it for today. Hey there Aries, I was just editing the All Signs video and realised that Aries was missing, so I apologise, that's why you're on the tail end of the video. So here we go Aries, let's see what we get for you for the week ahead. Alright Aries, it looks like an emotional up and down uh, week or a couple of weeks ahead, maybe even a month or so. Um, I feel there may have been some sort of financial dramas or even an emotional drama in the past. A feeling of being left out of a situation, a feel of being left out in the cold. Um, maybe there was even a financial drama where you just couldn't pay the bills or you don't know what you're going to do. Uh, the job wasn't working out or you don't have a job anymore. Um, I just feel like there's been a lot of pressure and a drama and emotional drama going on and, and something's just taking too damn long uh, to sort itself out. You need to trust in what your gut's telling you, which way you should go with the situation. I do feel like we've got emotions here and we've got financial situation here. Um, it might be all tied into one or it might be two separate situations going on. Um, I just feel like... Um, you know what you want to do and you know where you want to go um, but you just seem trapped in this emotional drama at the moment there's no other word i can think to to say here um aries so let's just have a look now on a totally different note we could be dealing with a baby boy baby girl here so that kind of energy as well so I know you're probably thinking, Five of Pentacles, Four of Cups, where the hell does she get that from? Um, I'm basing it on the normal poker deck of what Four of Hearts and Five of Diamonds would mean. Um, the Five of Diamonds could also be a brand new car. Um, so you've got like a brand new car or a brand new job kind of energy. Um, but I do feel that it's not up to par or it hasn't happened as quickly as you would like. And then we do have this baby girl um, energy um, over here. So just think of a yes and no Aries and we'll see what we get out of these cards plus a bit more um, reading uh, for the week ahead. Okay, yes or no for Aries. Um, that would be a yes and a no. Um, let's just base it on what's underneath here which is no, no, yes. 
So we've got two against one. Um, and then we got another no, another no, and probably another no there. Is that upside down? Um, no, it's not. So that would be a yes. So we've got four yeses and five no's. So I'll leave it up to you, Aries. You can take it how you will. Um, we do have something to do with the job here. This is where things used to be really good, where you did a little bit of work and the income was okay and you're thinking about buying a house, buying a car, buying something new, even starting up a business. But I feel that there's been, you need to trust in your gut right now. Go with the right documents or the right people or employ the right people or join with the right people. You need to trust in what your instincts are telling you here. Um, we've got two men having a conversation here and sitting right next to a contract. Um, you know what? I'm going to give you a yes on the question. If you are asking something about should I get that new job, should I sign the document, should I invest in these people, should I work with these people, it's a yes. If you're asking something about pregnancy, it does look like there's definitely fertility going on, but I am worried and concerned that this, this three and two males could actually represent um, an affair or a third party interference here because it can be very sexual energy. It might be this uh, feeling of, trying to choose between people or you feeling like somebody's choosing between you and somebody else. So I do feel a negative sort of tone over here and then things sort of sorting themselves out. But there's also this, I just want something better kind of feeling coming through. Um, okay, so let's just finish this reading off with a quick yes or no out of this deck over here or just messages. And we'll get two of these as well for... You Aries, sorry about uh, your reading not popping up where it should be. It should have been straight after Pisces. And when I was editing, I went, hang on a sec. Lucky I had that um, sound turned up and wasn't just going by my hands laying out new cards. Um, otherwise, we would have had everything gone wrong with all the names. Okay, no yes or no has come out, but we've got a loving, caring connection going on and wishes coming true. So maybe you're finally choosing between two people here, Aries. You're finally, um, it does look like you're choosing with family commitment, that kind of thing. Instead of something dark and mysterious, you're going with what feels right. Um, but wishes coming true there. Your other messages are twin flame. So yin and yang, balance being restored, unity, duality, uh, coupling, um, complementing each other. So there's definitely some sort of love thing going on in the Aries reading. Um, and you've got the boat. The boat is receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, and closures. Um, so it does look like you will get what you want. You might be ending one sort of uh, part of your life and going into something new here. Wishes coming true, new loving connection, soulmate connection as well. Congratulations to those of you who've been trying to get pregnant. This could be fertility and the announcement, a positive test and very, very happy. Uh, for some of you, you might actually be worried about who the father is with these two males sitting over here. It could be... Um, Something where you're sort of like, oh, who is it? Uh, which one's the father? Uh, the other way of looking at this, it could be that you already have a child from a previous relationship and you're now in this loving connection and you're having another child with somebody else. Um, but it could simply be that this is the two uh, parents on either side. And, um, and what I'm talking about here is two sets of grandparents, grandfathers, whatever. Um, boy or girl, hmm, we've got five and we've got four. The four energy is more prominent. We do have another four sitting over here, so I don't, I'd have to say it's a girl. I think it's a girl. I think the five energy might have been wanting a boy, but it's a girl. Um, anyway, guys, that is Aries.